So this is going to be a full video on how I use AI, which is going to be mid journey to make ads for my clients. Now, if you don't know what mid journey is, mid journey is just a platform to turn text into photos. And that is what we're going to be using today. Mid journey is probably one of the best platforms out there to turn text into photos. And it's going to be the most realistic while using in ads. So if you've never used mid journey before, this is what their website looks like. Just go to midjourney.com and you could simply go to their website and then purchase mid journey for a I think it was nine dollars a month or it might be ten dollars a month but it's honestly pretty cheap especially if you're going to use it a lot like i do now once you actually purchase mid journey you're gonna be making all of your photos inside discord it's pretty easy to use inside discord you kind of just go into one of their uh side channels here like newbies 93 newbies 63 any channel kind of over here on the left and we would go down to the message right here where it says message we're gonna do slash and then imagine right here to create a new image with mid journey this photo that i'm going to create with mid journey today i'm actually going to use as a ad creative for a client so i thought i would just walk you through my entire process of how i actually use mid journey to create ad creatives now we've actually used mid journey to create ad creatives before and they've performed actually really well so if you've thought about using mid journey or, th or if you thought about using ai photos for your ads go for it they've been they have been performing pretty well for us and i wouldn't be surprised if they work well for you so my client is actually in the meat industry so i'm going to be prompting mid journey to make a photo of wagyu hamburgers so i just typed in my simple prompt right here it just says wagyu hamburgers cooking on a grill outside and then i added in side shot of actually a side angle and then uh sony a7 III, which is kind of like what the camera i want to replicate for the photo so you could actually do any camera you want you could do a film camera you could do a professional camera anything you want you could also type in hyper realistic but we're going to leave it like this for now and see what it gives us so it just finished uh, we're gonna open these up right now and see kind of what they look like. These aren't bad at all. These are actually pretty good. Mid journey has been continuing to get better and better and better. So I'm really excited about how these turned out. Honestly, we could use all of these for ads. We're obviously going to want the closer up pictures of the hamburgers. So maybe one right here and then maybe number four right here and number three. Number two, it's just a little more distant and you actually can't see the hamburgers. So I wouldn't really choose that one. So let's say I like number one, three and four i would come right here and click one three and four now mid journey is going to uh populate those images by themselves so we could then go and download them but as you can see when it's scaled up it does look a little grainy and maybe you could maybe tell hey this kind of looks like ai or this isn't actually real so what we're going to do is we're going to click right here where it says upscale creative now what upscale creative is going to do it's going to actually add more pixels into that image so instead of it being by a 500 by 500 image it may be a 1200 by 1200 image i don't know the actual scale of it but it's going to enhance the image and give more pixels into the image to make it look better so we just did that with all three we're going to wait for those to be done those do take like a minute or two to actually populate and enhance the image but mid journey is honestly a really good platform to use if you're thinking about using ai images i'm not paid by mid journey at all um, i'm not even affiliated with them I've just been using mid journey to create ads for some of our clients and they do work really well. So the first one just finished upscaling. So we're gonna take a look at it and see the difference. As you can see here, it does look a lot better than the first one. So pretty good, not really pixelated anymore right here. And you can really see it in the first one, it was right here. So let's go back to that first one and see kind of what it looked like before and after. So as you can see right here, you can definitely tell, hey, you know, it's a little grainy right here. It's a little pixelated. And then if you go back into the enhanced one, you can't even really tell. It really just looks like it's part of the hamburger. So they did a really good job of enhancing the image. And we would now just click on this and right click on it and save image and then put it on our computer and we can send it to our graphics team. If you're going to do it yourself, I recommend either doing Canva or Photoshop, two very good platforms. But yeah, just go ahead and save that image and you can now go use it. So I also want to talk about why I did the meat cooking on a grill versus having raw meat for my advertisements. Now, just advertising with some meat brands over the last six months, I've kind of learned that just using raw meat for ad creatives actually performs worse than the meat cooking on a grill or let's say the meat already cooked and on a plate so that's why i chose to do on the grill because it gives you kind of like that mouth-watering vibe and 
it really enhances the desire of you wanting a hamburger right now and you going to the website to go purchase that product. So this is one example of an ad that uses AI photos. So this is just three different photos of boxes of meat that we put in one ad and we use the headline, all of this in one box. Now that was a great headline to show, hey, you're getting all of this meat in one box and we didn't even take any product photos of this. We just used AI and AI was able to make it look super legit and I was really happy the way that this ad came out. Now back to what I was saying before, this ad does use some raw meat and also some cooked meat in it. So this ad did perform okay. It wasn't actually great, but I'll show you another example of an ad that did perform pretty well that we were using AI for. So this is an ad that we did use for advertising and it did perform pretty good. Obviously sausage is not a big hit compared to let's say steak and beef in the US. Obviously not a lot of people are going to favor pork over beef. So selling pork was a little bit of a difficulty, but this ad performed really well. And it was simply just a testimonial of this customer saying sausage is the best I've ever eaten with sausage cooking in a pan from a top down view. Now this ad did perform pretty well and compared to all the other ads. Now this ad, obviously you could see like what I was talking about before, it does have the meat cooking and it's not raw. So if you are thinking about advertising for a meat brand, don't use raw meat in your advertisements. I've just haven't seen good results. Obviously test it for yourself and prove me wrong, but just from what I've seen, it hasn't worked well. But yeah, just another great ad that came out from using Midjourney. So that is how we use Midjourney to create ad creatives. Now for some clients, we don't even use Midjourney because they already have product photos. For some clients, obviously their product is of one-on-one, which means it's not going to be like me that we could easily make inside Midjourney. Now, I think you actually can add in your own products and own images inside Midjourney to create product photo shoots. I'm not that advanced in it yet, but if I do get that advanced into it, I'll make another video on that. That is how you use Midjourney to make ad creatives. If you like this video, subscribe and like the video. I'm dropping more content like this all the time.